Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and as you see here there's a optional cumulative update for Windows 11. Now it's interesting because Windows 10 had its uh, bug fixing cumulative update last week and uh, it worked well and it took a long time for Windows 11 to actually get its cumulative update so I don't know if they actually tweaked it or made some difference uh, some some fixes in it but here we are today, March 28th, 2022. Cumulative update for Windows 11, uh, KB501-1563. Uh, this is not for insiders. This is for anyone on Windows 11. It has a very long list of bug fixes. So this might be interesting for anyone that has problems in Windows 11 because it fixes a lot of things. And it's been tested uh, quite a, a long time for more than a week now in almost two weeks in the uh, release preview channel so uh, lots of stuff happening um, there's been fixes for search indexer problems uh, there's been a memory leak problem that's been fixed they also have fixed access violation status in the group policy they fix a lot of the fixes are actually very common to Windows 10 when I look at the list. Uh, so uh, quite a lot of things that are actually fixed in here. So I'm uh, just looking if there's anything really unique that I could pinpoint out of that. User access control restricts um, that are problematic with requesting of elevated privileges. Um, not that much happening uh, server SMB server message blocks so if you're accessing drives and stuff uh, problems that could be something for you guys and um, they also fixed a uh, auto startup problem with universal Windows platform apps when you upgrade to the uh, Windows 11 operating system uh, nothing much more there's well nothing much more there's a lot more but Nothing that stands out for me, actually, as a problem that I've seen. So anyways, if you've got problems, uh, just check it out. Maybe you're going to fix whatever you have. If you have no problems, just ignore it. It will, anyways, install in the next patch Tuesday updates. But I will download and install it just for the purpose of testing it here. If something's bad, something happens, you'll be the first to know. Uh, and uh, hopefully everything's going to be all right. So that's what we have, uh, and of course, if you don't check for it, you'll don't even know that it's there because it's a optional update for Windows 11 today. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.